How's it going? Uh, not very well. Actually, I've only got like, I'm, I'm just trying to do the beginning bit. Yeah, but you got to remember that oh. your, your, your little mouth takes a while to warm up. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You're, yeah, you're, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what people write on that, um, you know the hand job video? Mm -hmm. So many people write, Ugh, why didn't you give him a blow job? And it's like, A, rude. B, my jaw clicks first thing in the morning. Yeah. Be like, That's sexy. <laughs> yeah, that's sexy. Oh, that's just sexy. I've got to have a job to do. Yeah. yeah, but then every time I do that click, I'll get an erection. <laughs> Recently, there have been several newspaper headlines saying that NASA has created a new star sign. I would love to discover the story of how NASA created a whole constellation. They just found a whole new piece of sky, built these huge nuclear reactors known as stars, and Elon Musk towed them into place with his orbiting car. <laughs> it was a real joint venture. Tabloid newspapers have claimed a 13th star sign has been added into our horoscope, taking up a chunk of the diary so now everyone has had to realign their dates. No one saw this coming. Nobody's star sign said, next week you'll be reading the paragraph underneath. People have lost their jobs, their freedom of movement, and now their star signs. If that's not a country and western song, I don't know what is. You told me you were a Capricorn, now you tell me you're a liar. I thought when I didn't have cancer it would be good. Did somebody just hit refresh on the browser? So I, uh, I updated the system with the new software like they told us to and uh, it appears there's a whole new constellation up there. I love this idea that NASA has been keeping this secret from us when any human being could walk outside and check. So that's his armpit. Where's his head? The star sign is called Ophichuchus. Ophichuchus. Apparently, it was the ancient Babylonians who decided to cut Ophichuchus from the group. Despite coming up with trigonometry and maths, the ancient Babylonians decided that trying to mash 13 star signs into 12 months was not worth the hassle. Once they cut Ophiuchus from the group, they realised there was a big old hole in the calendar and they just neatly reshuffled everything, apportioning roughly equal stage time to the remaining 12 stars. Ophiuchians have been around us all the time, but without the merch. They've kind of been like those people who wear ill-fitting trousers and they try to out-obscure each other in band names. Yeah, I was in the star sign of Ophiuchus before it got commercial and sold out. Suddenly, the mystic megs of this world were telling us about Ophiuchus and personality traits associated with it. What were they doing when they looked up into the sky and clearly saw the planets were not where they were supposed to be? Neptune leaves Scorpio on the... and then it will... Oh, and now it's in Sagittarius. According to the Sun newspaper, around 74% of people are not happy with their new star sign. I'm a Pisces. Well, now thanks to this news, I'm Cis Pisces, Trans Aquarius. People who choose to live their lives by astrology are being given a sign. Some of them are being given a literal new sign about a new destiny. And I find it bizarre that they're not going to accept it. I'm a leaf on the wind of creation, but I'm not a fucking Scorpio. Are people star signists? Is there horoscopism? I've heard people slagging off other star signs before. What do you expect? She's an Aries. Die! You have to accept he's gonna shout, he's a Capricorn. That's the way my own mother talks about my dad. I have to have another glass of wine, because I'm a Pisces. It's like when you meet somebody who claims to let life take them on their journey. Oh, I just like to seek it wherever I go. But as soon as that person can't find a car parking space, fuck! 
how can you say that you are a leaf on the wind of creation and then you're behaving like a pebble in the car park of fuck this. You don't have to give stuff back. If you were reading your old star sign and it told you to go out and find a new love and your horoscope predicted all of these wonderful things and they all came true, you found the love of your life, you do not now have to throw them out. Our entire relationship was built on a lie. You're not even a Libra. We're all just journeymen on the infinite cosmos of creation. Don't touch those, those are my good bongos. This reminds me of when I used to play cow pat bingo. Right, roll up, roll up, cow pat bingo. Okay, so here's the field, field divided into squares. You put a bet on the square, you think the cow's gonna shit in first. You can win 50p. It costs 50p to play. No matter what happens with cow pat bingo, at least you're fully aware you're putting your money and your faith into a big pile of steamy shit. When the Babylonians apportioned roughly equal amounts of time to each star sign, that seems unrealistic, as in my experience there are more types of one personality than others. The sun only spends seven days in Scorpio, but 45 days in Virgo. This makes sense. Scorpios are brave, loyal, and ambitious. Virgos are wankers. There are more wankers than brave, loyal, ambitious people. Although to be fair, me saying somebody is a wanker is not a bad thing. I'm saying that you enjoy your own time and you know how to make the best out of it. The sun actually passes through 21 constellations. Why are we stopping at 13? If we accepted all 21 new star signs, we would have amazing new ones like Pegasus, Orion, Hydra, Crater! Who doesn't want to have a star sign of a Marvel villain or a gladiator? Skewtum! Boris Johnson, the British Prime Minister, has moved star sign. He has gone from a Gemini to a Taurus. Now, according to astrology.com, the Gemini man loves to wheel and deal. He is always in action, moving forward and onto the next new thing. So the British Prime Minister has gone from a savvy, wheeler dealer, smart, airy Gemini to a Taurus. And according to astrology.com, Taurian dudes are solid dudes. You want to be on their team when an apocalyptic situation befalls you. Oh, well, that's lucky. Good. They can build you a shelter out of random survival materials. They'll know what plants you can eat and which ones will kill you. And they'll be happy to teach you how to skin a squirrel. <gasps> right. So once where we could expect from Boris Johnson some savvy wheeler dealer kind of maneuvers, we should expect him to be building a fort out of filing cabinets and wearing a face mask made of badger fur. Now, in researching this, what I found interesting was Boris Johnson is not the only world leader to undergo a change. Donald Trump is also a Gemini who has now become a Taurus. So I checked Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping is a Gemini who has just moved into becoming a Taurus. So we have the world leaders of the UK, the USA and China all switching star signs. If you put any kind of like faith in this, <laughs> you'd be like, so whereas once the UK and the USA and China were all about business deals and actually making connections and kind of growing in an international, increasingly globalized market, they're all just gonna descend into kind of apocalyptic survivalism and fighting and a selfish, me, 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 aggressive rioting and fires, police, riots. You know who's really to blame in all this? The Virgos, because they're what? That was my star sign video. I don't know what it's gonna be called because I can't see into the future. Thank you so much to all my sponsors. If you would like to become a sponsor and have your name appear in Rainbow Lights, then just follow the PayPal link in the video below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you follow your destiny to wherever it leads you. My name is Diane Spencer. Goodbye. They have just, they've had it. NASA are like, ah, fuck the aliens, fuck Area 51, I'm over the hole, oh, the aliens are, uh, 
Men in black, there's inhabitants on the moon. Oh, there's there's ancient like civilizations on the moon. The pyramids clearly show the aliens. No, no, no. I'm gonna fuck up someone's necklace collection.